Hi, my name is Arnell, and we're going to be talking about form settings in BoldGrid. You'll need to first log in to your administrator dashboard. And here we have already logged into the dashboard administrator. And if you scroll down until you see forms, you can see there's a settings option here in the menu. Now there are two types of settings for forms within BoldGrid. Ninja Forms is the forms plugin that we're using and the overall settings for it can be found here. You can also click on each individual form and there are settings for each form. We're going to cover the settings for the overall plugin first. So click on forms, then click on settings. Under settings there are three tabs. You see general, labels, and licenses. Starting with the general settings, you have the version number here, date format, and the currency symbol. You also have reCAPTCHA settings. In the reCAPTCHA settings, you can see a site key, a secret key, and the default language. And finally, there is the advanced settings at the bottom. And here you can see if you decide to remove Ninja Forms or Bold Grid, you can also delete the data with the form by checking the box. At the bottom, you have the option to disable admin notices that come from Ninja Forms. So you can check in the box to remove those notices. If you change any of these settings, make sure to click on Save to save your changes. So next we're going to go ahead and look at the Labels tab. In the Labels tab, you have Message Labels. There are a bunch of default labels within Ninja Forms, and all of these have messages on them or labels that can be changed within this section. For example, the password mismatch label, you can change that message. Or if you have an anti-spam error message, you can also change that message and customize it for yourself. Again, anytime you make any changes, you should click on Save. Finally, we have the Licenses tab. In the Licenses tab, you can activate licenses for Ninja Form extensions. So here you can install them and activate them. So now let's look at the individual settings for each form. So click on all forms, and then you can click on the title of the form or you can click on edit. So I'm going to click on edit, and then you can see the tab for the settings of each form. Each form has display settings and restrictions settings. We're going to go ahead and look at the display settings first. Here you can see the form title for the form. You can change that. If you want to display that form title, you can click on the box to display it. You can also choose where the form will be added by clicking on this particular box. The drop down menu will appear. And then you can select the page where you want the form to be added. There's an option here to submit via Ajax without a page reload, if you check on that box. There's also the option to clear successfully completed form. So if it's been successfully completed, then the form will be cleared. Or you can also have the, the option to hide the form after it's been successfully um, completed. So you can check on that box. And then if the form has been successfully submitted, then we'll hide the form. So let's look at the restriction setting. In the restriction settings, you'll see the option to require a user to be logged in to view the form. And then if they're not logged in, you can give them a message warning them that, hey, you've not logged in, you've got to log in in order to view the form. Then there's limit submissions. If you leave this blank, then there will be no limit to submissions of a form. But if you put a number and the limit is reached, you can provide a message right underneath it by and then type in say, hey, you reached the limit for the number of submissions for this form. Again, anytime you make changes to any of these settings, whether there's a display settings or the restriction settings, make sure to click on save at the bottom in order to save your changes or input. And those are the settings for the forms within BoldGrid. 